Here's what I wanna leave you with, okay, before we go. I wanna leave you with my eight rules to 8%. I wanna guarantee that you are a part of the 8% forever, right? Like if I look back over the last decade, here's the eight rules I wish I would've known, that I wish I would've known with when I was you right now, okay? So make sure you're writing these down. Rule number one, okay, I'm gonna give you eight rules to make sure that you're a part of the 8% forever. Number one, focus on revenue. Okay, focus on revenue. Far too many people wake up, they go to the office, they're not excited, they're, 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 they're getting coffee, they're getting water, they're going to the bathroom, they're checking social, they're checking emails, they're going taking two hour lunches, it's 4.30, now they're like, I'll make calls tomorrow. They're procrastinating. I tell our sales team, you show up and you don't make a sale and you go home, why did you even show up to begin with? It's your job, it's not your job to service your clients, it's your job to make sales, service, Good, that's fine, but it's your job to make sales and to produce revenue and to help more people or your business can't grow, right? Like only 4% of companies in the US do seven figures a year. You can do seven figures, trust me, okay? Rule number one, focus on revenue. Rule number two, I want you to focus on your true potential. Most people focus on where they currently sit. I get dissatisfied, I get frustrated. I get a little sad and depressed because I'm thinking about where I'm currently at versus where I know I can be. And that's because I'm, I'm in the moment. I'm focused on where I am right now. You're going to throw in the towel and quit. If you focus on where you're at right now and you're not happy with it, be focused on your true potential, finding your true potential, getting to your true potential one day. Like I've got this new saying I've been saying a lot lately, which is I haven't arrived and I hope I never do. You haven't arrived and I hope you never do, which means you're chasing your true potential and you know that you can always be better. That's what that really means. Okay, so rule number two, focus on your true potential. Rule number three, short-term targets. Okay, I believe in putting short-term targets. Like we released and had over 10,000 register in 28 days. Why? Because we came up with a massive short-term target that scared us to death. When we do something as a team, we put insane targets and goals and we shorten them. A lot, of people, a lot of people don't hit their goals, okay? And a year goes by and it's like, dude, I didn't, I, I wasn't like, who had a goal? Let me ask you, who had a goal last year in 2020 and you did not hit it? Show of hands, okay, in chat. Help me out, me, me. Here's what I know. You didn't hit it because the goal was too small. Most people, when they're not on track, they do what? They lower the goal. You need to raise the target. You need to raise the goal because whatever the goal was, it didn't interest you right? It didn't keep your attention. You got unmotivated and keeping my focus for an entire 12 months, like let's keep it real. Like you're, we're all going to see 42 squirrels along the way. And before you know it, like we're not focused on hitting the target. You need a short-term target like today, this weekend, next 72 hours, next seven days, next 14 days to keep you focused on producing a lot in a short amount of time. That's the message. That's the secret to accomplishing a lot over a year. Try to accomplish a lot weekly. Try to accomplish a lot this weekend. Try to accomplish a lot in the next 10 days, right? Change it up, okay? Challenge yourself with short-term targets, okay? Rule number four, never quit. Most people quit. Here's what I know. The insurance industry is an amazing industry and life's going to get really good as long as you choose not to quit. Please choose not to quit. Please choose not to quit to quit. Rule number four, never quit. Quitting is a choice. Quitting is an option. Quitting is a mindset. Never choose to quit. If you don't quit, you can't fail, right? That's the theme, okay? Rule number five, you need to get to where you are removing these mental barriers and limiting beliefs that are in your life. We all have specific things in our brain that are holding us back from taking that next level. For example, you may care what everybody else thinks, Okay, you may also care, uh, you, 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 you may care what everybody else thinks, you may also care what your family thinks, your friends think. You may also have this limiting belief of you thinking you know everything before you do anything, right? Is that you, okay? You may also be in a spot where you're afraid of spending money and investing money because you're afraid of getting it back, right? Like we all have these mental barriers that are holding us back from taking that next level in our life. You need to identify what is limiting you from leveling up and do your best to remove it. Okay, do your best to remove it. Rule number six is effort. There's only three reasons why you wouldn't be able to hit your target and your goal this year. Okay, stay with me. 
Okay, there's only three reasons why you wouldn't be able to hit your target or your goal for this year. Maybe you wanna make 100 grand this year. Maybe you wanna make a million bucks this year. Maybe you're like, like me and you wanna do $12 million this year. Okay, whatever it is. There's only three things that could hold you back. Effort, effort's a choice. Skill, right? You may say, Cody, I'm not as good as you at sales, man. But if you wanted to, and you wanna spend time with me, and I wanna download my sales brain into yours, over time you would get better and be almost as good as me. Or maybe better, right? True? Which means you just need to put in the effort to increase your skill. Third, knowledge. You may not have the knowledge to hit the target or the goal that you are setting out to do. But if you wanted to know everything that my father, Brian, knows about the insurance industry, everything Landon knows about marketing, could you, over time, absorb everything they know and learn as much as them? Yes, knowledge is available to everyone, which means you just have to put in the effort to increase the knowledge, which means for you to do something big, whatever you want to accomplish, it all goes back to ding, 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 effort. How much effort are you putting in? Effort is a choice. Effort is an option. What kind of effort are you putting in on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that you are successful, changing lives, doing something big, and freaking pushing, man, like constantly pushing and finding your way to being your best self and being super successful. Effort's a choice. Rule number six, effort. Rule number seven, train daily. In my office, we train at 8.30 and 1.30, right? Like I spend time with teams every single month for a whole year, take downloading my brain into their whole team and freaking motivating the heck out of them. And we train twice a day in our office. We listen to sales training videos. We recap what we learned and we role play and we do energy twice a day, every single day. Why? Because we wanna win. We wanna get better and we're not playing casual. This whole little life thing we're doing, man, we're doing it the right way. We wanna win. Winners find, find a way to win. I don't wanna just halfway do stuff. If it's meant to be, it's up to me. Which means, if it's meant to be, it's up to you. You have complete control of your life. Accept responsibility for your successes. Accept responsibility for your failures. Accept responsibility for the negative things that are happening. You control the controllables. You can control how much you train every single day. Rule number seven, train daily. Rule number eight, okay, rule number eight, invest in yourself. Winners believe in investing, right? They invest time, energy, and money into them because they know that they are their most valuable asset. You are your most valuable asset. Do you know that? Do you realize that? And are you getting better over time? I'm really, I can tell the last three years, I've came a long flipping way. Have, look back three years ago, have you came a long way? Look back 90 days ago, have you came a long way? My question for you is, are you investing time, energy, and money into making you better? Because that's what it's all about. Rule number eight, invest in yourself. These are my eight rules to 8% to make sure that you become part of the 8% and you change your life forever. Who is going to, who loves these? Who's going to apply these? And who knows that you have some improving to do in 2021, in March of 2021. Now my question is, of the eight, right, focus on revenue, focus on finding your true potential, short-term targets, never quit, remove limiting beliefs, effort, train daily, and invest in yourself. Of those eight, which one is your favorite of the eight that I just laid out in front of you now? I'm telling you, there's no need to be casual. We need to get serious about our success. We need to win, and we need to be focused on taking that next level in our life, okay? And the next level for you is getting to 8% Nation 2021 live in Dallas at the Statler Hotel, me and you and 998 other people changing their life forever. Trust me, you want to go. Trust me, you want to be there. Trust me, this is the event to be at. If there's one event to be at in our industry, period, all year long, it's this one. Do not miss it. Put it on your calendar right now, July 23rd, 24th. Myself, Eric Thomas, 
Landon, my dad, Galen, several other speakers I haven't even mentioned yet. We're having a couple surprise speakers. I'm going to have a couple of crazy surprises again. Last year, we dropped tens of thousands of dollars live from the ceiling into people's laps. Were you there? How much money did you pick up? Some people picked up more money from the giveaways that I did than they even paid for their ticket. That's what it's all about. And don't forget, last year, the hotel, there's only like a couple hundred rooms, okay? So that's, that's we're, we're gonna possibly expand outside of this hotel after this year, we'll see. Don't forget to reserve your hotel for the event, okay? apresnation.com, make sure that you reserve your hotel. You can, you can probably even get there from kodiaskins.com forward slash deals as well, okay? But make sure you reserve your hotel at the Statler. It's a nice four-star Hilton property because it will sell out early. I guarantee you the hotel will most likely sell out this month, which is insane. So make sure you do that now. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you next. Welcome to 8% Virtual. As people are coming in, we've had over 10,000 agents register for this two-day live free virtual conference. Number one, okay, I wanna thank you. As people are coming in, okay, I wanna thank you.